So I have the rather strange job of uh, basically thanking everybody, and I'm going to give the, the more pleasant job uh, to Dervla to actually announce who the winners have been. But I'm, I'm sure you can agree that the, the presentations we've seen this evening have all been fantastic, and it has been a very difficult decision. Now, we're at a slightly weird crossroads for science and science communication at the moment, because we're at a time where the public aren't interested in what experts say, and alternative facts are a thing. And that means that there is more need now than perhaps ever before for scientists to be able to talk about their work to people who know nothing about it and know nothing about them. And not only to talk about the work that they do, but to make it very clear that scientists, researchers, are people just like everybody else. Experts are not a separate species. And so it's really good to see PhD students, young researchers, going out of their way entirely, even in incredibly busy weeks when they have PhDs to do and jobs to start, to put the effort in to come and not just present to an audience, but to try and do so better than anybody else with the horrendous constraint of only having three minutes. So I'd just like to say, I think they're all in the wings somewhere, I'd just like to say thank you all of you for coming on. Fantastic work. And all of you we will very much hope to see in the future doing more of this. And I'm going to hand over to Dervla, who... Uh, from TTP. Um, firstly, to FameLab and um, the organizers of the Cambridge Science Festival for having us and allowing us to sponsor this event. Secondly, um, to the participants, who I think have already won by recognizing that science requires the ability of the scientists themselves to embed in the wider society. Um, and then lastly, to the audience, because without an audience there can't be a performance. And we had a fantastic performance tonight, so thank you to you too. Thank you very much. Really, you all want one. Okay, so thank you all so much for your attention this evening. We had an interesting time up in the, in the judging chambers. I think it was probably, um, it was really quite contested actually, and we really had to try and kind of fight to get our, our points across. But I think I've, I've worked on this competition for quite a few years, and I think the standard really just goes up and up. So I think that's really a credit to the scientists that we have involved. And I, personally, I'd like to say I'm really glad to see um, such a strong female involvement in the, in the finalists this year. And that definitely wasn't um, you know, fixed or anything. It really was just how, how it came about. So I think that's a, you know, a really, really great thing to see. OK, so we're very lucky, and probably very lucky because we all want to remain friends, <laughs> that we are allowed to have two wild cards this evening. And so, in order to avoid any kind of Oscar kind of thing, I'm just going to look at Lucy and she's going to nod. That's okay. Okay, great. So, in terms of our wild cards, I think we're really kind of gauging both sides of the spectrum on these two. I'd like to um, announce Daniel O'Donovan as one of our wild cards. From the opposite end of the spectrum, and please leave your boxes behind, that's Simon White. Okay, so that just leaves me with one flappy bit of paper in my hand. So, we're very, very pleased, and really I think this, we can all probably agree that this was unanimous that our Fame Lab winner for the Cambridge Regional Final for 2017 is Catherine Feller. Yeah! 